Hi grade 12, so I'm back again with another video about statements and audit reports and I think the main thing to remember and to take into consideration the most with this topic is that it is a application question. It's a question that is based on a case study or a scenario that you'll be given. So I can only give you the basic information and examples of what kind of questions you could expect, but really you need to know the basics of what we spoke about in the last video where we said a qualified um, report is one that is good. It means that the financial statements and everything is in order. And no, 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 no. An unqualified report is good. And it shows that everything is in order and everything is great. A qualified report is a bad report. It means some errors have been made in the financial statements and fraudulent activities could be occurring. And then a withheld or disclaimer of opinion audit report because it has two names i didn't mention that in the past video so it can be called a withheld report the status of the report could be withheld or it could be a disclaimer of opinion which basically means they're withholding their their opinion and choose not to leave a comment or an opinion on those statements and so if you know that basic and you know um when audit internal auditors um conduct their work, when external auditors are appointed, who uses the audit reports, why audit reports are even created in the first place. All of that general information is going to help you answer the questions that you might get. So when we look into the questions that I have here, which are the most common, there's, okay, first, to whom is the audit report addressed? So who do we make audit reports for? And so it is the shareholders. Um, so that shareholders can be aware of the state of their business and if they are, their investments are in safe hands, right? Another common question that we tend to get is to explain why it is likely that a withheld or disclaimer of opinion report will have a negative effect on the value of shares of the company in the JS, the JSE, right? Which is basically the market for shares, right? Where stock exchange happens and all of that stuff. So here are some pointers in terms of, it will give you a feel of how exactly you're supposed to tackle these questions, okay? So the way that you're gonna tackle it is the value of the shares will decrease, right? Because if someone goes and checks the shares and and um, realizes and checks the report because it's public information and realizes that the audit has been um, withheld or there's a disclaimer of opinion, then that person, then those people will not feel like, oh, this is a good share, just uh, good shares to keep holding on to. So the share, value will decrease because the JSE will obviously take them as not in demand and also the JSE determines in terms of these type of things, all of these factors affect what happens in the JSE and so your share value will decrease. And then shareholders will lose confidence in the company and might sell their shares. So obviously now I've bought shares of McDonald's, McDonald's get a gets a disclaimer of opinion for example, right? Um, and now I'm looking at this, the shares and I'm thinking, I can't keep these shares because they're now a liability for me and I might lose instead of gain anything in comparison to how much I invested. And so I then say, you know what, forget it, I'm selling my shares, right? Which is a negative for the company because um, I want to sell my shares, I don't want to be involved in the company anymore. Another thing that it could be is a loss of, another thing that could happen um, to negatively affect the business because of this type of a report is the company could lose potential shareholders. So someone would be looking, going across their shares and be like, oh, I should probably invest in this. I should probably put my money on this. And upon seeing that they have um, a disclaimer of opinion or withheld opinion, then that person will reconsider or that company or those investors will reconsider their involvement in the company because they don't want to get into a losing arrangement, right? So, like I said, shareholders 
Um, share, share value will decrease, so I put shareholders here. So share value will decrease. Shareholders will lose confidence and might sell, and the loss of potential shareholders. Right. Then, lastly, um, not to say that these are the only questions, but to say these are the most popular. Lastly, it's who has uh, to ensure that statements are prepared and presented at the annual general meeting, right? That is your directors, your management, the CEO and the CFO, the CEO being the chief executive officer. Sorry, you didn't see that. So I said directors, management, CEO, CFO, chief executive officer, and the chief financial. So what's most important with uh, auditing is the who, why, and what in terms of what is the audit type of report. But other than that, I hope this general information helped you in terms of um, figuring out the next questions you're going to take into considering. Don't con the next questions you're going to take in your exams. Don't forget that the best way to practice is the best way to learn this information and to remember this information is to practice 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 i'm talking past papers past exercising exercises questions from textbooks all of that information is so critical and so crucial and so helpful and it's very important that you take all of that stuff and soak it all in so that you can use it all other than that thank you so much for watching this video i hope it helped you and yeah goodbye